What's up everybody, it's Andrew Vos bringing you all things living in Pensacola and surrounding areas. If you feel like this could provide some value from Abel or I, right? Um, please share, like, comment, you know, we just want to be a resource for anybody in the area. I got a guest, you've probably seen him on one or two or maybe, I don't know, Ton by the time videos. this is posted, four videos. Right. Um, but he is a rep with DR Horton. He's my go-to, very responsive, helps with the whole process, keeps us informed about new inventory coming up. Um, we actually were just talking about it today. Um, he hit me up last night and was like, hey, got a townhome that just came available. So this is the type of people that you want to be aligned with. And we're actually in front of the Hayden, which is a two-story model with mm -hmm. the DR Horton. I'm going to let him talk about that. But this, once we get inside, there's a crucial part to the building process and it's the blue tape walk, right? Because um, you can come visit the home depending on the site and the rules of the builder. You may have to be escorted, may not, depends on where you're at, right? right. It's not what we're talking about. We're just, but there's a process where you walk through um, with the builder's reps, right? The super, your realtor or realtors, right? I like to bring in a fr one of my agents with me um, just because it kind of gets another set of eyes on it, right? Because this is almost, besides the initial walk, this is the, well, this is the initial walk, not the final walk. Right. So this is the initial walk pr prior to you going to sign for the house a week or two later, right? So we call it the blue tape walk. Um, you walk around with blue tape, red tape, and that's those are the general colors, right? right? One is, well, I'll let you talk about the blue because yeah. every builder is different, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a little right. different. So I'll, I'll kind of lean into that. So the biggest yeah. thing for this first and this final walk, the first walk is so crucial because there's a lot of paperwork that you signed that day that after this first walk, if we don't find it right here, we're not going to cover it, right? So there's just a few things that are obviously, perfect example was like a scratch on the floor, right? Well, if we didn't see a scratch today and then you move in, yeah. you say, oh, there's a scratch. Well, that could have came from your furniture. So it's just a liability thing that's why we catch everything on that first walk whatever you see so that blue tape for us is for our cosmetics so paint touch-ups anything for the cabinets trim is all that now the red tape is for sheet rock so that's any type of dips or bows that you might see we'll go through and then we'll have them come out and uh, fix it but again the the first walk is really i mean these i've been in walks for two three hours almost right because people are just so just so extensive which is what i say hey do that right now now is your time for you to be with the microscope and just kind of go through and just kind of you know flick through every single piece in, of the home because after this we're not just going to keep on adding stuff and things like that yeah. because you can walk a home a million times and you can always find something yep. right so that's why we stress these uh, first walks to bring hey bring your realtor uh bring your agent bring your friend bring your mom the more eyes the better and something that i like to do in my business is i always try to pre-tape a house before the buyers even come just to make it a little bit easier to say, yeah. hey, you've already had one set of eyes on the house. Now when you come, you can see what I kind of caught and then kind of go over that. So yep. that's something that I do for all of my buyers. It's just kind of like a thank you to say, hey, I'm here for you and I'm gonna put us under the scope just as much as you would. So Yeah, and I wanna let everybody know that some people feel like they're being critical. Well, again, this is a large purchase. It's one of the many assets hopefully you'll have, but this could be the largest asset you have going forward. So you want to try to get it to as best of, per like close to perfect as possible, yeah, right? But with that expectation, nothing is perfect. You have humans building houses. Things are yeah. not going to be perfect, right? I tell people you're going to get it to 98%. And like he said, you're going to be walking around and say, oh man, I missed that. Yeah. And that at that time, you just have to give a little bit of grace and understand that it's humans building these houses. Right. It's not God, right? It's right. humans with God's power, well, whatever. That's exactly. a different story. <laughs> exactly. But That's you true. just have to know that it's like, you just have to have realistic, realistic expectations, exactly. right? Um, but the great thing about builders, especially DR Horton, they're going to help you guys get as close to perfect as possible, right? So we're about to walk through and you're going to see a bunch of blue tape on here. So stand by. Stand by. This is Abel Janelle here with DR Horton and Andrew Vos. And behind me, we are standing in front of the Hayden floor plan of DR Horton. Two story, five bedroom, three bath, bonus room downstairs, and two living spaces here. Come on inside. This particular model in this community, we're doing four sides hardy and granite countertops. And this elevation has the medium front porch, but we do make one that has a large front porch, just like over there. 
Now immediately when you come inside, you can see this red tape, blue tape. It's because a part of our process here is to make sure that you as the home buyer is aware of what you're purchasing when you get into the home. So before you close, we do a first walk, typically about seven to 10 days prior to your closing and a final walk the day before. That first walk is to go through, kind of catch everything. Blue tape is for all paint touch-ups and the red tape is for all sheet rock touch-ups. So immediately here, you have your first bonus room. It could be as an office or maybe a kid's playroom. I've seen folks even put two French doors right here and create a whole separate room. I mean, the options, options are you know, endless here. Yep. We're gonna go ahead and come right into our kitchen slash living area. Now again, here is granite countertops. This floor plan also has eight foot in height ceilings. You have your living room here. You have one bedroom down here and a full bath. So I like this floor plan and this layout for the reason of if you have guests or if you have maybe a mom-in-law staying or a family member that you're not the most fond of, they can kind of have their own separate quarters. They don't have to go upstairs or anything like that. Think of it as almost like an imitation of an in-law suite, but just sharing that front door there. Nice. Again, we have uh, stainless steel appliances here, all Whirlpool products. Beautiful walk-in pantry there. A lot of cabin space here. And I'll take you through this first bedroom and this first bathroom right over here if you want to kind of walk through there. Or even good for a teenager that just, you know, is kind of in that, in the middle phase, you know, of kind of growing up. Nice full bath. And Andrew, go ahead and open up this door here. This is my favorite. I call this the, uh, no, over here. I call this the Harry Potter room. So <laughs> you got some storage there, you know, under the stairs. Yep. If a child's being bad, you yeah. never know, right? Harry Two car garage right in here. Everybody loves Harry Potter, so. Yeah. Should be a light right there to your left. Now, in this division of DR Horde, we do not finish the garages, so they're just gonna be textured and mudded. So how you seen is exactly how you would get it. That's still more than some do. Some only do like half. Yeah, I right? that. If it touches the inside wall. Yeah. So that's good, you all do the full thing. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the small little patio that you're gonna get. It's not a covered patio, but Dude, again, you can still toss a barbecue out here. Right, a couple chairs. And again, this exact home has a view of, a, of some nice trees. We'll go ahead and go right inside. I should go ahead and lead me as I close the door. And we'll head upstairs now. And what do we look at for like price point here? On the uh, home Now like these this? are gonna vary. So these are gonna vary again, based on the uh, community, the type of finishes, the siding and the uh, granite options. But we have range here between 375 upwards of about 410. Nice. All right, now immediately off to your left, you have your primary bedroom. This pri primary room is ginormous. I mean, oh wow. Beautiful. Again, a lot of uh, natural light here. Great community views. Yeah, awesome community views there. And this one not has one, but two closets here so you have your linen closet right over there or a his closet yeah exactly <laughs> you have your shower your separate uh, water closet and then your large walk-in closet my favorite part about this room is that the laundry room is not too far off so you're not going to be lugging up clothes up and down the steps And you have your third room right over here. And then a second living area upstairs. Now again, could be a game room, theater room for the kids. I mean, if you guys wanna just kinda of hang out up here and not go up and down the steps. Shoot, yeah. toss a nice TV on that wall. Yeah, and then a nice uh, man cave. crawl space right up here for our storage. Another bedroom right over here. And then a nice full bathroom right in there. Double vanity. Mm -hmm. Full 
cool shower. You have your HVAC right over here. Five year parts warranty. If you get it registered, they'll give you another five years on top of that. You have another linen closet right over here. So, I mean, guys, a ton of storage space. And then you have another bedroom right over here. Nice little closet. So the possibilities for this house, I mean, they're really endless. You know, obviously people with more kids are gonna try to gravitate toward this. I've even seen people have their, you know, uh, mom or, you know, stepdad live with them. So there's enough space to everybody kind of be separate while still being together, but having their own space at the same time. So, nice, All right. love it.